Hi, this is Galit Gofarb and thank you very much for joining me here today. Today I'm going to be talking about how to heal from kidney stones with diet. Now kidney stones are a very painful condition to have and unfortunately are very common nowadays. And the diet plays a vital role in the development of kidney stones. The increment of fast food chains presents us with an already overly seasoned menu rich in proteins especially animal proteins, salt, sugar, and chemical additives. And our lack of time to prepare healthy and balanced meals is one of the reasons that this condition is more and more on a rise. Now, damage to the kidneys may be caused also by type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, and other chronic long-term conditions, most often that are due to poor lifestyle choices. And these also increase the risk of kidney stones. Now, kidney stones form when minerals and other substances that are found in the blood crystallize inside the kidneys. These stones often eliminate through the urine, but when these crystals are too big of a size to pass through the urine, they grow larger, causing a lot of pain and much inflammation as well. So let's examine some factors that can influence uh, kidney stones. The first one is the role of citrate. Citrate prevents the, pro the formation of kidney stones by delivering an alkali load, meaning they have a higher pH. Now citrate, citrate helps break down calcium deposits and slows their growth. Now lemons contain a lot of citrate, as do all other citrus fruits. And preparing a freshly squeezed lemon juice glass of lemon juice just squeeze the lemon into the into the water on an empty stomach first thing in the morning and another one uh, right before dinner will help immensely increase the citrate that your body really needs now also drinking freshly squeezed orange juice has been proven to dissolve smaller kidney stones and prevent new stone stone formation now let's talk about the protein in your diet Protein is essential to the body, but many sources of animal protein, such as red meat, pork, poultry, uh, fish, and eggs, increase the amount of uric acid that the body produces. And this is neutralized with citrate, but not enough of it. So we need to reduce animal protein from the diet to reduce the amount of kidney stones. Now, since protein is necessary for proper functioning of the body, we have to aim to consume more plant-based proteins, which are much healthier and pose no threat for kidney stones. And plant-based proteins include uh, hummus, quinoa, tofu, and other soy products, as well as beans, lentils, seaweed, and also whole wheat products. Now let's look at sweetened beverages and phosphoric acid. To avoid the formation of kidney stones, one should also avoid sweetened beverages and cola drinks because these products contain phosphoric acid in high amounts, which also increases the formation of kidney stones. These added sugars as well in these drinks also increase further the risk of having kidney stones. One study showed that a 23% higher risk of developing kidney stones when people were drinking were found in the highest category of consumption of sugar sweetened colas and um, a 33 percent higher risk of developing kidney stones for people who were drinking sugar sweetened non-cola drinks so drinking pure water is very very vital and especially removing the sugar sweetened beverages from your diet now drinking water will properly hydrate your body which decreases the odds of kidney stone formation. Urine color intensity is an important indicator of the amount of hydration and it should be very pale uh, yellow color. Now dark yellow colored urine is a sign of dehydration. Unfortunately, drinking sufficient water alone is not enough for the prevention of kidney stones, although it does help. Now I wanna mention the importance of acetic acid. Uh, basil juice has been used for centuries due to its antioxidant and anti-inflammatory benefits and it contains acetic acid which helps dissolve kidney stones and reduce the pain caused by them. 
You also may use these fresh or dried basil leaves for making a basil tea, which you can drink as a tea or you can add it to your water. It is recommended not to use basil uh, drinks for more than six weeks at a time because it may seriously reduce l uh, blood pressure and lower blood sugar levels as well and if you're wounded it also increases bleeding so now the next the next uh, product that is high in acetic acid is apple cider vinegar which can be added to your salads instead of the very uh, other um, fat rich dairy rich um, uh, salad dressings. It is very high in acetic acid. But as a side note, people with type 1 diabetes should avoid apple cider vinegar, especially if taking insulin. Now, pomegranate juice is also very favorable against kidney stones. This juice has been used since ancient times to improve the overall health of the kidneys. It can help flush the stones and other toxins from the body. It is all, all, also actually lowers the uh, acidity of the urine, increasing the formation of stones uh, in, the, in the kidneys. So if you have high acidity, you have more stones, lower acidity, uh, you will have less kidney stones. Also, magnesium is very helpful. Magnesium it actually positively influences calcium oxalate for, uh, stone formation by binding oxalate in the digestive system and hindering the production of calcium oxalate crystals in the urine. Higher magnesium consumption is significantly associated with lower risk of kidney stones. Magnesium rich vegetables and foods include uh, leafy green vegetables, figs, avocados, bananas, raspberries, nuts, seeds, black beans, chickpeas, kidney beans, peas, broccoli, and, and all the foods from the broccoli family, uh, green beans, artichokes, asparagus, and Brussels sprouts. Now to conclude, if you have a tendency for kidney stones, you should consider drinking sufficiently to hydrate your body. For most people, this includes drinking uh, 10 to 12 glasses of water a day. I would recommend squeezing some fresh citrus juices into your water for sufficient citrate. Eliminate processed meat intake completely from your diet and limit animal products in your diet. Also you should limit your salt and sugar intake including the removal of sweetened beverages. Add apple cider vinegar to your salads instead of the dairy rich salad dressings add magnesium rich foods and consume a healthy variety of vegetables, fruits, legumes and whole grains on a regular basis. Now because the metabolism of different nutrients such as calcium and magnesium may decrease with age, the relationship between kidney stones and diet may change in older adults and different susceptible populations as well. This is why dietary recommendations for kidney stone prevention should be tailored for the individual person. So if you are interested in receiving an individually tailored menu plan for your specific health, need, health needs, please check uh, the personalized menu plan out at my website here. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and if you're interested in more health and nutrition information please visit the website at www.thegorilladiet.com thank you very much